What's up guys? Today we're doing some summons in Dagonair and they have a special announcement. From now on, Starlight Dice has a chance to give legendary champions. This wasn't a thing before, it's something that they added. You could only get epics in the past. And they will also give everybody 100 free Starlight Dice if you log in now. So make sure to do it. This video is sponsored. Thanks a lot for Dagoner for sponsoring this video. And a funny thing happened. I actually already did my summons and I was supposed to do it on video. You will get the free summons in the mail here, as you can see it. So the chance to get it is 0.2. It's not very high. And I already actually pulled my Starlight dice, but there was some issue with the file and the audio is totally screwed up, but I'm gonna play it. You're not gonna believe it. Believe me otherwise, I'm not making this up. But I literally did get a legendary champion with my 100 free dice, with 0.2 chance to get it. But don't worry, I have another clip. I was playing on the dash server a while ago. They kind of gave me access to fool around there. And I also did do the ultimate Gacha, guy, gacha Gamer's Wet Dream and I pulled 500 dice there not even Starlight dice but the Heliolite dice because you basically got infinite resources and I basically wanted to see what champions I got now that was on this server I'm gonna play that clip in a second but um, I actually did I actually did get the legendary champions with those three dice with the Starlight dice, not the Heliolite dice, on on the actual server just now. But like I said, the clip kind of screwed up and you can't see the audio. I'm gonna show me summoning it on the video, but um, where is it? Yeah, this guy we got, I already went through it on my other clip and of course the audio was corrupted. But I'm no expert on the endgame champions. He does seem like a very good uh, boss killer and I was kind of cheating and looking up his ratings from many tier lists and he does seem to be like um, above average legendary champion so I'm super excited about him if you have never played Dagoner, now is the best time to log in and get those 300 dice if you have played it before maybe you haven't played for a while now is good time to come back from the break try out the new season and if nothing else, at least collect those 300 dice into your bag. And who knows, maybe you can also get a free, a free legendary champion. But yeah, that's it. If you are interested of the game, didn't play it before, you can download it from the link in description. And now I'm gonna back in time and play some summons that I already did several weeks ago. What's up guys? So I'm messing in the Dagonair test server again. They were gracious enough to give me access to it. So I might as well have a little fun with it and do some maybe weird stuff. But we can basically pull endless amount of uh, Heliolite dices. As you can see, we have like 10,000 or I don't know what, what even that number is like. A, million worm arrows or whatever and we can basically do whatever we want so let's pull 500 heliolite dice just for the kicks it's not gonna give me anything in the actual game but let's let's complete the gacha gamer power fantasy we should get somewhere around 20 legendary champions but we will see what we get anyway thanks a lot for dragonair for sponsoring this video and letting me have fun, but let's do it. 500 pulls is gonna be a lot, so I think we're just gonna probably start fast skipping these and not going through the individual cutscenes and champions. I don't care about any champions that we might get. I would if I would actually get the champions, but oh, we got legendary so fast, but I'm not gonna get them, so I just want to see what... Oh, okay, and we started off with... Uh, uh, 
I'm pretty sure Le Lelavan is one of the best legendaries. I mean, I'm not the most well-versed Dagoner in game player. I'm not gonna like pretend to be one, but I'm pretty sure she's one of the best champions. So we started off strong, even though it's completely irrelevant. But anyway, make a guess how many legendaries we're gonna pull. I think it's three percent chance to get one. Let me double check. Yeah, it's three percent chance, and we're pulling five hundred, and we get the eighty. Uh, PT pool, so maybe around 20. Let's see what we get. I'm sure somebody has pulled more shards in one session and not even done it on their server, but for me this amount of shard pulling is gonna be something that I have ne never done in any game and definitely will never do again, so we're gonna have fun with this. I wish I could keep like one or two le legendaries for my own account, but it's not gonna happen and all of this is meaningless. <laughs> meaningless other than just for just for the kex. Oh, that, that's a cool looking one. And yeah, we got the season 3 of Dragonair starting out in like a week on the 22nd of March. If somebody wants to play Dragonair and this seems interesting, then you can download the game from the link in description and they will be very happy with me. So do it if you're even slightly interested. Okay, that's our second legendary. I don't even know this one. <laughs> I knew Lelvanis was a really good one, but I have no idea about this. She does have a dragon in background. Does she actually have a dragon pet or is it just for the looks? Anyway, we got two in 40, so... And yeah, buckle up, I think pulling 500 shards is not gonna be a very short video. Okay, this one I actually have in the Axel game, but I don't have him leveled up, but I guess he's... I think he's a buff stripper, so he's meant to be good on some boss battles or dungeons. I mean, it is kind of fun. I wish I could do, could do this every day, but um, probably not. I don't want to get too, too addicted and actually buy. 500 charts someday in the game, so I'll have to leave through this. Wait, was I was I was drawing random numbers? Why did I say I'm gonna pull 20 champions? We only pulled two so far, and we're already um, going through one fifth of the charts. Okay, there's the third one. I want to see if we're going to get any double pulls. Wait, did I not do this in time? Probably it's going to count it. Surely there didn't go anything to waste, right? Wait, this is the fourth one, right? I think that's the fourth one, yeah. Come on, let's see a double pull. Place your bets now, are we gonna get um, a pool where we get more than one legendary in 500 shards? Probably not, but would be kind of cool to see. Oh wait, 
Yeah, you can see I'm not a super end game player right there. So you you only have one pity pull for the entire season, and that's it. Okay, I guess I was mistaken. It's an early game mechanic and not per moment pity pull. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense in a way so there's more reason to go for the seasonal summoning pools and get the pts on those as well okay so it should be way less than 20 in that case and that's the fifth one I mean, I guess we kind of got lucky, I think. We got 5 in 100 uh, Heliolite summons. Well, I mean, getting 100 Heliolite dies as a um, non-spender, I wonder how long that takes, but I don't think you can do that very fast. Come on, let's see the double pull. Nope. The background art is good, but then again, every game nowadays has very good art and graphics, so it isn't that unique. I feel like we're not getting that many epics. Yeah, there was quite a few pools where we didn't get a single epic. Okay, sixth legendary, nice. We haven't even gotten a dupe so far. I don't know if that's a good thing because you. I guess you kind of do want to get some tubes in Dragonair as well. Okay, him again. Wait, where do I click to see the champion name? I guess I'm not gonna if I already, already pulled him. Anyway. Wait, how many are we at? Six? I'm, I totally didn't keep track of the numbers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we are at six, but it could be even more than that. To be fair, I think Husky in my clan, I think he does pull these kind of numbers. Not in the test server, but in the actual, <laughs> actual server. So. so for some people, this is not that... That unusual. Shout out to Husky. He's he's the he's the biggest Dragonair content creator I know, and he does make Dragonair videos very actively. So I'm sure they like him as well. If you don't know who Husky is, he's um, a clanmate of mine, but he's a Russian guy, so he's pretty big on YouTube, but you probably haven't heard about him if you're not Russian. He doesn't speak English on his videos. There's a lot of channels on YouTube and even in the gaming sphere where people have very large channels and they do videos in like Spanish or Russian or some other language than English and they might be massive YouTubers and you have never even heard about them. I think that was number eight. I'm totally, totally uh, 
drawing random numbers at this point. I need to put some... Oh, okay, that was very fast. I need to put some maybe hype music on the background. Also, I don't think we pulled a single single dupe so far. What? What's the three, what's the three legendaries in row? <laughs> I wish I had this kind of RNG in raid on my Axel account, but of course, when I'm pulling shards for real, my RNC sucks. Oh, okay, I, I thought, are we gonna do it again? And on, on my actual Dragonair account, I don't have any legendary so far <laughs> either. Damn, it's it's hard hard labor to pull this many shards. We're not even halfway in, and I'm already like uh, I'm already tired of this. Well, I I'm sure I would think differently if I was actually getting these champions, but they don't mean that much to me. So. But let's get that. Double legendary. I want to see two legendaries in one pool. I remember uh, th this wasn't intentional, but shout out to another Russian. Oh, we did get the double pool. Holy. Okay, I think, yeah, I think this champion is pretty good. I have seen videos. Oh, okay. And he, he's my favorite epic. I use this guy. He, he keeps saying the goodbye loser catchphrase all the time it it makes the fights a lot more um a lot more entertaining but oh i haven't seen this one before but i have this another russian clan mate called rdd who also does content or i don't know if he does anymore but he used to at least and i remember he pulled was it like or Void Legendary in a 10 pull in raid, maybe like a couple years ago or something like that. And everybody was talking about it on Reddit because that's some that's some insane RNG. It might have even been five. It was like four or five legendaries on voids in a 10 pull. And I think half of them were top tier. He definitely I think he pulled like Sifi and Yumek or something like that. It wasn't even like poor garbage pulls, but half of them were the best champions in the game. Anyway, I totally lost count. I think we're maybe at like 12 legendaries. I think we got super lucky actually with the pulls. Well, we got three in a row, so surely we, we did get lucky. And we got that. Wait, wait, maybe we are already at 14. We get the double pull as well. I already accomplished my goals, and we still have. Um, we, we still have half of the shards to go. Holy moly. This is gonna be like 40 minute video. I want to see a duel. There were so many legendaries that I might have missed it, but I don't think we got any dupes. Wait, what was that a dupe? I'm not even sure. I don't, I don't think it was a dupe. Oh, another legendary. Wait, wait. So, yeah, okay, I'll know it's a dupe if I don't get the axe also. I'm pretty sure we did. We did get some dupes because some of the champions didn't have the 
soul on it, I don't think. Yeah, as, as you can see, I'm not, I'm not the veteran um, heliolite dice puller. Okay, that's that's a pretty cool looking one. He's undead, but unlike usually how undead are, she's not like incredibly disgusting looking. Like she doesn't have, I don't know, rotting rotting teeth or exposed bones or anything like that but she doesn't look like a vampire either so i guess she's um i don't know what she is she doesn't look like any kind of specter or white or gold or anything i, I guess she just mu must be a lich but like a well-preserved lich that isn't full of bones Wait, what, what? Okay, never mind. I thought that was another legendary. I think, uh, wait, didn't we get... Well, okay, we got three three epics on that pool. But that's not gonna... That's not gonna be the double legendary pool. Yeah, there goes like the legendary, like, um, yellow spark in the ground. And it kind of makes it look like you're pulling a legendary. Okay, still 200 left. Holy moly, I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get tired of pulling dice or shards after this video. It's a, it's a new experience because normally I can't wait to pull any shards that I would have in any game. Not just Dragonair or Raid, but literally every single game. <laughs> but never have I pulled this many. Wait, so he has some kind of gas mask. It doesn't really cover him that well, but... And that's logic. I guess it doesn't have to be that bulletproof. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even gonna pretend to uh, keep track of the count. I think we're, we're closer to 20 if we already didn't go over it, but I think we got insanely lucky. Unless I'm like horrible at math and I did um, <laughs> I did some calculation completely wrong in my head, but I'm pretty sure we, we beat the odds by some um, insane degree already. I think we already got our money spurred. And we got like 200 shards left. I mean, I, I say my money is worth, but obviously we didn't buy any shards. But I mean, I'm really sure we pulled enough legendaries for 500 Heliolite dice already or something very close to that. I, I think we, we already went past it, to be honest. Yeah, I, I don't know how the Lilith games feels about uh, me using Death Server to do this, but <laughs> I guess they won't mind. I'm definitely going to do this in other games too, if I ever, <laughs> ever get the Death Server access. I need to do this every single time. 
what? Another legendary. Like, I think we're beating the odds in, like, um, Garkan to a degree today. It's 3%, right? Yeah, it's only 3%. I think we got way more than 20 at this point. Yeah, I think it's about time to, time to start speedrunning this. I wasn't I wasn't planning to make a 40 minute video, but soon it's gonna be too long. Okay, wh what? It's some kind of uh, mummy that is uh, um, frost affinity. I don't know what that is, but it kind of looks like some kind of undead. Well, I, I guess the um, undead or the... what are they then called? Void? The Void and Frost are part of the same alignment in this game so I guess we did pull that support champion that is frost and is also an undead another legendary I think we're like well well past 30 at this point it's not even close what Another one. <laughs> We're getting to DJ Khaled levels of uh, shard pulling. I'd like to see DJ Khaled do a shard pull video. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> I, I would pay for him to pull 500 Heliolite. Well, I probably couldn't afford the kind of money that he wants to. He wants for it, but. Um, on paper, that, that would be kind of funny. Funny video. Dude, I, I want to see... Uh, at, I mean, I'm not even like a fan of DJ Khaled, but I want him to see, uh, do an ad for Dagonair. Th that would be super funny. Let's do an ad where he's pulling shards and saying another one <laughs> when he's pulling legendaries. Or something like that. He's talking to the raid bosses or the champions and goofing around. That, that would be the best uh, mobile game ad ever. Kind of like if somebody remembers the Mr. T World of Warcraft advertisement or the... was it also World of Warcraft ad advertisement that... Um, I don't recall his name. What is the action movie star? Not Mr. T, but the other guy, the, the white guy. They did some weird ads for games. Not weird, but like comical. Not too serious ones. Another one. I need to add that soundboard to my videos now that I think about it. Well, probably I'm never gonna get to use it in practice when I do my Axol um, dice pulling or shard pulling outside of test server though. Another one. <laughs> I think that that was definitely a dupe. Can we get one more? Okay, the last one. We will pay the animation. 
Come on. Okay, N not on the last one, but we got we got plenty of legendaries. I think we got way more legendaries than we should have. But it was so long video, and I couldn't uh, I couldn't control myself, and I lost the count long time ago. And it is what it is. But I think we're we're well past thirty. Anyway, thanks for Dragonair for sponsoring this video. Make sure to download the game from the link in description or the screen if you're not playing the game. Maybe you want to do this in the actual game and buy 500 Heliolite dice. I'm sure Lilith Games would be very happy if you do it. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see ya.